Finding reliable information for research often depends on where we look. For many questions, the web itself provides quick answers. However, the results we get from Google are often like the tip of an iceberg. Huge amounts of helpful information are submerged below the surface retrievals hidden from immediate view. Much information, like the contents of most academic journals, magazines, and other types of periodical literature, are simply not accessible through Google. Beyond the web, resources abound for locating good information to support your research. The library provides access to such resources and librarians offer instruction and guidance to help you navigate your searching. So it's important to begin academic research by asking, where should I look for reliable information about my topic? Often, a helpful place to look is in an article database. An article database is a space in which a tremendous amount of information is collected and organized to make it findable. And this information can include articles or citations from newspapers, magazines, and academic journals, books, images, and other resources. And one collection of databases offered through the Beam Library is EBSCO. EBSCO provides access to a number of different databases, each with its own specialized focus. Let's say our research topic is credit card debt among college students. Okay, here's how we might search for information in the EBSCO databases. EBSCO can be quickly accessed from the library homepage under the Quick Links menu. Click Academic Search. When beginning a general search on a topic, it's a good idea to choose databases. Each of the databases in this list has its own special focus, which you can read about by hovering over this icon. For credit card debt among college students, I want to select each database that I think might be related to this topic, and then hit OK. And now, I'm searching for my topic in multiple databases. Remember. The language you search with is really the key to effective searching. If I enter my search topic as is into the first field, then out of all these databases, I only get 44 results. Now, it's true there may be some useful information here, but surely more than 44 articles have been written on college students and credit card debt. Here's an important rule of thumb for searching databases. If I get low results or a lot of irrelevant results, then there is a problem either with my language or with my location. And my location for this topic is fine. Information on credit card debt among college students can be found in these article databases. So let's look at the language we're using. When considering how to search, I want to begin by asking, what are the concepts that make up my topic? In this case, when we think about credit card debt among college students, we see that there are three concepts in this topic, college students, credit cards, and debt. So, if I divide this topic into its concepts and enter those concepts in each of the search fields, my results are tremendously increased. And by searching in this way, I'm telling the database to find articles in which each of these concepts appears in the title, in the abstract, or in the article's related subject terms. And now that we've found a large pool of relevant retrievals, let's limit our results. Decisions about limiting search results are based on the type of information you need to know and how quickly you hope to access it. For this research, I'm looking for something to read and bring to class so that I can contribute to class discussion. It doesn't need to be too technical, but needs to come from a reliable source. So I'll limit to full text and to magazines. And now that my results have been limited, I can quickly locate an article from a reputable magazine that's right on target for my research topic. Full text is here 
and the citation can be found by clicking the title and then by clicking the cite icon. Knowing how to break down a topic into its core concepts and then using those concepts to find an article in the EBSCO databases is a helpful skill for college level research. There are many strategies for effective searching in EBSCO, so be sure to watch Beam Library's video using EBSCO databases. Remember, if you have any questions, be sure to ask a librarian. Beam librarians and staff are here to help you succeed throughout your studies at Oklahoma Christian University, and we look forward to getting to know you.